going to try and stab him in the butt. I can physically duck. He's physically ducking. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, right in the butthole. Nice. That's the way you gun game. Greetings, friends, and welcome to a very rare episode of Ian's VR Corner, because thanks to our sponsor, Vancrupt Games, you've got me standing up today because I'm about to play Pavlov VR on the Quest 3. Now, please bear in mind that this isn't the App Lab version of Pavlov Shack. This is the full Pavlov VR experience. It has finally left the App Lab, and it is now a full purchasable release and considering this is one of my favorite of all time playstation vr2 games i cannot wait to get cracking on the quest 3 so let's first head off to the training and see if my skills with the guns are up to par with my playstation vr2 antics all right so here we go quest 3 pavlov vr it looks really good Actually, it looks really, really good. Everything is sharp and clear. The textures are great. Oh, meaty. Oh, yeah. i got to love the shotguns. Look at that. That's great. So, if you've never played Pavlov VR before, you may be wondering what it's all about. Well, Pavlov VR prides itself on the realism of the gunplay here. So, as you can see by this big wall of guns, Every single gun here is accurately modelled on its real-world counterpart. What does that mean? Well, if I uh, push this out, let's go 20 metres on it. You can see that the scopes work like realistic scopes, so there's none of that flat screen... So there's, <laughs> so there's none of that flat screen being smooshed onto your face. Firing-wise, I can feel haptic feedback in my Quest 3 controllers, which is lovely. And when it comes to reloading these guns, every single gun reloads exactly like it would do in real life. So uh, in this case, I gotta take that clip out, I gotta get a new one, I gotta slot it in, and then I gotta put one in the chamber so I can continue firing my gun. I'm on single fire mode uh, at the moment, I think. How did I change the firing mode? I think there's a button on my controller. Yep, there we go. It's the A button for changing the firing mode. So I can go single shot and try and get him in the head. Kinda. Mainly the chin. Or I can go burst fire. Let's take him right out. Let's bring this back and see what damage I did. Wait, it's this one. I just want to always press big red buttons. I mean, technically... That person would be dead right now, huh? Okay, let's let's try a different gun. Um, oh god, there's so much choice here. I'm gonna try a little pistol. I'm gonna go for the Desert Eagle. Let's try a bit of a Desert Eagle here. Um, let's send that out 10 meters. Let's give myself a little bit of steadying with the pistol. Aiming down the sights and bonk! Not exactly a bullseye, but we're close enough. Let's see if I can go for a headshot. Oh, right on the nose! And we're out. So, how do we get this out? Okay, so, the other gun, I had to physically pull it out, but this gun, there was a little button to eject the magazine. Take one out, put it in, and we're back to action. Now, while the Quest 3 version of this game lacks the adaptive triggers of the PlayStation VR 2, these guns still feel really nice to fire. And the little gentle haptics in the controllers help convince your brain that you are, in fact, firing a gun. I mean, that guy's ruined, right? Yeah. That's some, that's some good accuracy with the Deagle. Ah, oh, headshot. <laughs> nice. All right. So, what, what can I do here? Okay, look. So, check this out, right? 
this gun, this is a big old gun, and this has a rail for attaching a sight to it. Now, I don't think... Well, maybe we can get a, a four times on there. Yeah. So now it's fully attached. And I can do some long-range LMGing. So let's go and take up position here. There's the target. 40 meters down range. Oh, that is a... That's a meaty gun. There is a lot of kick from this. You can see my... You can see my scope bouncing around in front of my eyes, but... Short, sharp bursts make a mincemeat of this target. Let's just... Rah! Yeah, <laughs> the recoil rides the gun right up. There is no way you're going to be accurate with a full fire on this one, unless you... I don't know, Superman, the Man of Steel. You're going to hold the gun back down again. Okay, we're all out. These are some of my favorite guns to reload, by the way, because there's just so much, like, cool little interactivity to them. There you go, see? Ready to fire again. Ah, Jesse Ventura in Predator! Whoa! Okay, yeah, I think there's at least one kill shot in there. Messy, but I got the job done. Now, I don't think I can finish showing off the basics of this game without demonstrating to you this beast. I think this is a 50 cal gun, 50 cal sniper rifle. Uh, I'm going to set this to 80. We've got an 8 times scope on it. Now, in the options, um, you can set guns to have a virtual stock, which, if you're like me and a little bit shaky, uh, the virtual stock will help you uh, keep your aim steadier. As we can see, we've got a nice clear view of the end of the range there. There's my target. And I just need to slowly squeeze the trigger. Now, what did it, what was the, what, in the movie Leon, what did he say? You have to breathe out. Okay, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I hit him. Maybe a bit of bullet drop there. But then I have to eject each round like that, so. Oh. Oh. Ta! <laughs> I forgot to put a bullet in. There we go. <laughs> That'll help. Oh, that was... I wobbled that. New bullet. How big those bullets. Yeah, pulling to the left a bit. That... I, I feel good about that shot. Let's put another bullet in. Give it a look. Okay, a bit closer to the center, but still not central. That's pretty decent at 80 meters downrange. I mean, if if you're shot anywhere on the body by a 50 cal gun, I don't think you're going to be going into work the next day. Let's put it that way. Every single one of these guns is just like proper... Proper real-world gun action. An AK-47 for you. Each one reloaded realistically. Let's run this magazine down to empty. Take it out. Put it in. So when it's an empty magazine, you have to get one in the chamber first. And you're free to fire. Yeah, this game is just as much about realism as it is about fun. And talking about fun, let's try out one of my favorite game modes in this game. It's called Gun Game. As you can see here, there are plenty of game modes to choose from. You've got things like Prop Hunt, King of the Hill, Push, One in the Chamber, Search and Destroy. You've got classics like Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch, or World War II Team Deathmatch, which is just World War II weapons, which is really cool. Uh, you've got Trouble in Terrorist Town. You've got The Hide, which is like um, a, a, a predator game mode where one person is a predator and the rest are humans trying to survive against an invisible menace. You've got a Zombies mode. You've got an Infection mode. 
Uh, but yes, I'm going to go for gun game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own lobby here. Uh, just for uh, speed. I'm going to fill it with bots. And there are a lot of maps in this game too. Including a few that look completely new. Um, I, there's, there's some in here that I haven't played. I think this one isn't on the PlayStation, or wasn't on the PlayStation 2 version when I last played it. Harbour as well, that looks new. Pine Hill might be new. Station is good. I think Stalingrad Shack is new as well. I'll check out one of those in a minute. I'm going to do uh, my first round of gun game on Santorini, which I think is my favourite level in the, uh, the multiplayer level in the game, because uh, it's so colourful, it makes me feel like I'm on holiday. If you've never played Gun Game before, you might be wondering, what on earth is Gun Game? Well, Gun Game is a game about guns where, if you kill someone, you swap to a different gun. The person who gets through all their guns the fastest is the, world, the winner! Oh god, that made me jump. So, you see? I went from the LMG to the auto shotgun. Nice! Oh, ooh! Yep, there was some blood there. This uh, version of Santorini, I will say, it doesn't look as good. Whoa! Look at that little helmet flop. It doesn't look as good as the PlayStation VR 2 version. In fact, there's um, a lot of uh, kind of distance, distant buildings missing. But in terms of um, the way it runs, it's lovely and smooth, and it still looks nice. We're on to another gun now. I see it. Wow, how many sh shots to the face? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. Is that going to... Where the... Okay, so this is one of the problems I have sometimes, is working out whether... There it is. Oh, hello, sir. Got him. Got him. Onto the org. Whoa! Nice. All right, not, and these bots aren't exactly the most intelligent of foes, which is good because it helps me look excellent at this game. So to run, you have to hold the gun down. When you bring the gun up, you slow down to a bit of a walk. So it's really fun to, ow, not to die. Bullet Bill shot me there. Um, it's really fun to like role play Coming down with the gun up, you know, holding the gun down. I'm coming up to a corner. Let's bring the gun up. Let's poke round. Yep, there's one. Oh, God. I was terrible at aiming then. Never been a fan of this gun. Oh, shizer. Okay. There you go. Right, we're off the P90. There you are, sucker. I got you. Another one in the distance. I'm. Oh, yeah, I'm going right through the guns at the moment. And shooting off a lot of helmets. There you are, I see you. From the side. I don't think I got the kill for that one. I think it's this guy. I got the kill for that one. Right, we're on to an easy. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm so glad the full version of the game has come to the quest finally. Pavlov Shack was great. But it did feel like a, a demo rather than the full experience. And now um, there's so much choice to play with and a whole load of people online to play with too this game is incredibly popular especially on PC oh no oh no oh no and I love the fact that you can see exactly where you've been shot this little hand cannon thingy I've got there we go, that's better. What is this? Is this like a VSS thing? It's got a four times scope on it. Hold the gun down to run. Gun up to aim. Got him. Oh, nuts. Okay, I just accidentally shot my load. Oh, right in his face. Okay. Ow. Okay, we've got a sniper's scope here. There's his head. Missed him. Oh, I shot him in the throat. Okay, so because I'm on the sniper rifles, it makes sense that I stay around here where there's some long sight. Oh, I missed. Absolutely cocked that one. So I don't need to put a new bullet in. Oh, he's gone. Where'd you go? Oh, fuck. Oh, I got shot him. Oh, oh. I 
I just looked him straight in the eyes there. Okay, here we go. Oh, left some blood on the wall, but he's not dead yet. Bang. Honestly, if I was up against human players here, I would not stand a chance. There you go. It'd be, it would end up more like that. That'll do. Oh, God. Wait. Oh, this is an auto fire. <gasps> Someone stole my shot. All right, ahead. Onto the shotguns. Noise. Who's this guy? What are you doing, son? <laughs> That's it. Desert Eagle for the win. Okay. There's you. My six shooter. Ah, oh, dang it. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, God. I hope no one comes up behind me. Look at that. That is a cool little animation. Oh, yeah. I love this game so much. Yeah. Two to the head. One to remove the helmet. Two to remove the head. What are we down here now? This is a little machine pistol, I think. Hiya. Bit of a silenced beast. Nice. Okay, this is a machine pistol. This game... Like, basically feels like, when you're playing it with your friends, it feels like a virtual game of paintball, almost. And when you get shot... way, What are you doing there? When you get shot, it doesn't hurt. And it doesn't leave bruises that last for weeks, which is also a benefit. But yeah, I, I've played this game on the PlayStation VR 2 so much with lobbies of friends. And we are always in hysterics. It's just... An incredible multiplayer game. Oh, yeah. So now I'm on the final weapon, the knife. If I can get a kill with a knife, I have won the gun game. I'm going to try and stab him in the butt. I can physically duck. He's physically ducking. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, right in the butthole. Nice. Woo. 32 out of 32. That's the way you gun game. One of the things that Pavlov Shack didn't have is a mod browser. If I click on mod browser, we can see all these cool mods that people have made for the game. My attention is instantly being drawn to McDonald's. <laughs> I'm stepping into unknown territory here. I've never really meddled with Pavlov mods before, but the fact that you can get them on the quest is pretty awesome. I'm going to download McDonald's and I'm going to... It says it supports all game modes, so I'm going to do another game mode on McDonald's next. These are just the trending mods as well, by the way. There's highest rated here. Oh, McDonald's is the highest rated. Pavcraft. It's like Minecraft, but Pavlov. Nuketown. Crap, uh, Dust 2. Oh, my God. There's so... I mean... The possibilities with this game seem to be endless. You can play, you can play prop hunt in Dunder Mifflin. Oh my god! Okay, here you go. Look, there's McDonald's in my uh, map selection screen. So I'm going to try out deathmatch in McDonald's again with the bots. Donators can grab to change skins. Well, I'm not a donator. I'm a Mario at the moment. It's a me, a Mario. Wahoo! Wait, can I be David Hasselhoff? No. Okay, I've just got a standard Mario skin. Okay, here we go. That's Thingy from Left for Dead. Oh, nice. So this mod isn't. Whoa! What the hell is wrong with that guy's face? This mod is that Burger King. I can't even finish my sentence. Everything is shocking me. This mod was chugging a little bit at the start. It seems okay-ish now. Um, but I'm going to guess that some mods maybe won't work as well as the standard maps. Try the new Anus Pounder. Sure, why not? Ow! Oh, I was Freddy Fazbear. Oh, wow, I didn't know there was so much blood in skeletons. Is that an Among Us? Whoa! Those are some thick thighs. 
<laughs> Among Us is, um... Oh no! I'm dead. God damn it. Okay, look, that map, as fun as it was and as weird as it was, wasn't running as well as the standard map. So I'm going to go and try out one of the new maps that I've not played uh, before. And um, I'm pretty sure Hague Now is new. Ah, here you go. So you can also buy rifles and gear and upgrades if you want. I'm going to have that. I'm going to give it a red dot. And has it got laser sight? Laser sight. And I'm going to get myself armor and a helmet as well. There we go. Yeah, I've never seen this level before. Whether it is brand new or uh, for this build, or whether it's been in the game for a while and I just missed an update, I don't know. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm playing stood up, as you can see. This game is, if you're wondering, this game is for VR hardcore, for VR veterans. There is no seated mode here, um, and the uh, the comfort settings are limited to vignette and click turn mode. Playing this game with smooth turn on and vignettes off is the way to go, though, I feel. Because it just helps you keep immersed. Oh, look at that shot there. This laser. It's its OP when you have the laser on this gun, I think. Check that out. Nice. I just love how when, you, when you've got it, when, when it's clicked and you've practiced and... Well, the controls for this game kind of fit and you've learned how each gun works. I just love how smooth it is to reload the guns. Can I? No. <laughs> no, definitely trying a bit too hard there. Oh, fudge. Sorry, me. The M4 here with the uh, red dot and the laser is, is my go-to loadout, though. I, I feel like this is a pretty decent way to take down enemies accurately. Like so. Popped his head off. Fuck! Oh, that made me jump. Good lord. That's the thing about VR. The virtual presence of... Oh, shizer. The, the, the people feel real when they're coming at you. Your brain thinks they're solid objects. Oh, look at that. Mm, jammy. I see ya. Oh, and the one in the distance as well. Oh no. Oh no, lads. Oh. Always forget to do that. Ah! Oh. oh, shot in the ear by Bot John. Is that you, John? Get my revenge. That, that skull-cracking noise when you nail a headshot is very satisfying indeed. Oh, ho, 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 yeah! Lovely, delicious bit of third-partying here. Nice! This game is seriously one of the finest first-person shooter-style games in VR, like the, 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 the feel of the gunplay, the speed of the action, the smoothness of the reloading mechanics, and just the, the, the huge variety of online modes, offline modes, and um, lobbies, it's just, it's just a treat. Absolutely um, a stunning little game. Right, and trenches. Stick him down. Couple to the bat. Oh. There we go. Let's reload now. Well, I've still got one in the chamber. Got ya. Oh! I won! There we go. Let's quick get in the church and 
Have a little look. There we go. Oh, lovely stained glass windows. All right, I get 31 kills, five deaths. Now, look, I've shown off enough of this game with bots uh, already, I think. So I've joined a game with actual human beings in to see how well I do. This is Team Deathmatch on the data center map. And everyone here now is a human being. How deadly will they be compared to their roboty companions? Oh, well, I got I got one kill. Wait, is that? Yep. Yeah. Taking cover. Look, the bots don't do that. Got ya. Got ya, son. Someone's throwing smoke out. Ah, oh, shot in the butt. No one in the data center area. Oh, there's one. Gotcha. Special. Hey, buddy. Took his hat off. I think I killed him. I just find this game so immersive. It, it reminds me of back in the day when Call of Duty Modern Warfare <laughs> came out. And I just got so into that. Oh, f right in the eyes, dude. Like, it's like being inside a Call of Duty game. <gasps> wow. They will not be able to identify those remains, Destranus. Destranus? Destroy anus. Oh my god. So far, nice and smooth, no lag, nothing ruining the experience. Nothing stopping me from properly pavloving my way to victory here. Oh, except for a bullet to the teeth. Tee hee. Oh, Clive. Ivy Clivier. That's French for Clive. In England, I'm called Clive. In France, I'm called Le Clivier. Were they on my team? I, no, they weren't. Good. Oh, fuck. Oh, I thought Clivier. So cool. It's like I'm in my own action movie. I am John Wick. Beyond Wick. Whoa, that guy was sneaky. Well, he wasn't. He was kneeling down in the middle of the open, but I think he was trying to sneak, maybe. To sneak in this game, you've got to physically crouch, though. I don't think I've got it in my knees to do that. hey -o. Music started playing. I think we're nearly ending the nearing the end of the match. Balls. I definitely didn't do as well as I did against bots, but I feel like I got a few kills. There we go. It was a defeat by five points. Damn. I got 18 kills and 29 deaths. Okay, let's finish off this let's play with a little look at Pavlov VR's Zombies mode. This mode is much better when played with friends, but it is still pretty epic. And at the moment, there's only one map hospital, but I'm hoping that at some point they'll give us some new ones. These zombies are very fast and aggressive though, and some of them have very nice haircuts. Oh God, oh God, oh no. Oh, Scheiser. Okay. I don't think there's much call for accuracy at the moment. I just gotta hope for the best. Ah! They're really aggressive. Okay. Alright, round one down. So you, you get rid of the first round of uh, zombies, and then you do get a little loot break. Um. I'm going to go for the Deagle. You can dual wield weapons in this game, but the trouble with dual wielding weapons in this game is it's incredibly hard to then reload. All right, here they come. I do should have some health. There we go. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm being swarmed. Oh, no. Oh, this is so much easier when played with three other people. Oh. Ah! 
Oh, help me. Ah, oh, they got me. I killed, killed by a hipster. Whoa. All right, friends, there we go. I think that is as good enough of a look at Pavlov VR on the quest as I can give you. This game is incredible. I love it. I don't need to be sponsored by Van Crupt Games to tell you that if you own a quest, this game is a must buy. But I'm very thankful to Van Crupt Games for sponsoring this video and sending me a code for the game. You can buy this on the App Store now. I think it's £14.99. And if you own a quest and you like shooting games, listen, do yourself a favour and get Pavlov VR because it is just phenomenal. Even, like, I, I just spend like an hour or so occasion just noodling around in the shooting range. Not even, not even playing the game modes, just firing the guns and like testing out attachments and things. So much fun. Honestly, um, one of my favorite PlayStation VR 2 games, as I've already said, um, and now it is out on the Quest so you can enjoy it wire-free wherever you want. It's just a perfect fit for the Quest 3 or the Quest 2 headset. And really, that's all that needs to be said. So if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Subscribe to, oh, subscribe to Eurogamer for almost daily videos about video games and Ian's VR Corner videos every Sunday. And once again, thanks to Van Krupp Games for letting me play Pavlov VR on the Quest 3. It's bloody great. I love it. Ah! Come at me, zombies. Ah! Ah, I'm in the... I'm seeing the red mist. Ah, 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 screw you, Beardo. Ah, fuck, I punched my wall. I'm that immersed. Ah, oh, water cooler. No, it's going to kill me.